as it is given that energy absorbed by concrete wall is equal to energy absorbed by water so we can write energy absorbed by concrete is equal to energy absorbed by water so we can express energy absorbed by concrete as mass of concrete into specific heat capacity of concrete into change in temperature of concrete which is equal to energy absorbed by water and we can write energy absorbed by water as mass of water specific heat capacity of water and change in temperature of water as it is given that change in temperature of concrete and a change in temperature of water are same so we can cancel delta t from both sides this gives us mass of concrete into specific heat capacity is equal to mass of water into specific heat capacity of water this gives us mass of water is equal to specific heat capacity of concrete upon specific heat capacity of water into mass of concrete now by plugging different values here mass of water is equal to specific heat capacity of concrete is 900 joule per kilogram per degree celsius upon specific heat capacity of water is 4180 joule per kilogram per degree celsius into mass of concrete this gives us mass of water equal to 0 0.215 into mass of concrete. Here we assume that heat transfer by mechanism other than radiation are not significant. So this can be easily ignored.